So I just got through watching Black Panther Wakanda Forever. It was better than I thought it was going to be, but it was only okay. It wasn't anything crazy. It did feel like a decent tribute, but overall, I mean, I did actually find myself invested throughout it all. It's storytelling is its strongest point. And it's, you know, thematics are its strongest point. The only character that I felt grasped me was Namor. Granted, I'm not a huge Riri Williams fan up until the later stuff. She did seem really arrogant in this one. That's a good thing. That means she's, you know, got room to evolve. Um, And, you know, not everybody. Well, I mean, maybe Riri Williams could be could be seen as a Mary Sue. I don't know. It didn't bug me that much. But um, Shuri had a lot of growth throughout the film, and there was a slow progression to her being Black Panther, a resistance, a denial, you know, showing that, uh, you know, she was taught this all through the film. It was honestly really nice. It's not my favorite film out of all the ones I've seen, but it, I mean, it's not bad by any stretch of the imagination. It's serene and peaceful and the atmosphere is amazing the introduction of namor was really nice um i knew they weren't going to kill him off um so that didn't hold my suspense um killmonger's uh killmonger's whole scene was awesome that whole like the <gasps> like the the twist actually caught me because I've avoided a lot of the trailers for a lot of recent Marvel movies. Ant-Man is one of the exceptions. Uh, but this this was really... It was... Like I said, it was okay. It's nothing I was blown away by, but it's nothing that, you know... I was disappointed in either. Um, I'm definitely glad I went and saw it. And, uh, oh! We uh, find out Jill, uh, that... Um, uh... Uh... Valentina is the wife of the guy from Black Panther. That was really cool. I thought they were going to do more with that, though. It felt like a little letdown. Teasing stuff for, like, Black Panther connecting to Thunderbolts. I thought they were going to do a whole Thunderbolts tease. There wasn't any end credits scene, though. The whole Son of the Child thing was nice. Overall, it's just a serene movie. There really wasn't, you know, much I was expecting. Doctor Doom is not in this movie. He is 100% not in the movie. Um, so, that was a little disappointing. But it was, it was fun, though. I had a good time with this one. Also, um... I know further videos that come out after this might state different. Um, but uh, I might be moving up the Christmas videos. Uh, I know that has nothing to do with the Black Panther Wakanda Forever review, but I attach them. That way we don't do update videos and it takes up scheduling time. Um, overall, okay movie. Definitely worth the watch. However, I would, well, I would say wait, except for the, like, the cinema screen looks so amazing. This is like Avatar, where I was just breathtakingly blown away with some of these shots. Um, it was awesome to see. I had a good time. It was w worth the watch, and I highly suggest you watch it. I do understand if you're waiting, because this one is just okay. Um, but I would at least say watch it once it comes to Disney, Disney Plus, if you have Disney Plus. Overall, I'll give it a, well, I, on my, uh, on my letterbox, I gave it a review of three and a half out of five. Not terrible. Not great either. But, overall, I enjoyed it.